This is my Using Your Thermometer Lab by Raquel Gomez. The first thing I did was engage, and I thought about how you can use your thermometer and where. And you can use your thermometer in a variety of places. You can pretty much use your thermometer to see the temperature of anything. You can use you can measure the outside temperature, the temperature inside, the temperature of your refrigerator, freezer, temperature of food, and thermometers are important for food safety. You can use a food thermometer to see if your meat is cooked or undercooked, how hot your food is, if your food is um, cold, and also thermometers help control. My husband has a saltwater fish tank and in it he has a thermometer at all times so he can make sure the temperature is suitable for the life that he has in there. The next thing I did was I can um, do the controls on my experiment. I used two red solo cups as a control and they each had three ounces of water in them. And I will record my results in two minute intervals over a span of 30 minutes. My hypothesis was that um, the clear water was about 70 degrees or I'm sorry, this is what I thought, that the temperature of the clear water would be 70 degrees Fahrenheit and that it would change about 10 degrees when outside and the colored water would be about 75 degrees and it would change about 15 degrees when outside. I kept the two controlled experiments inside the house and the clear water was 74 degrees Fahrenheit and the colored water was at 76 degrees Fahrenheit. Outside, I put the two cups on the concrete, and the clear water was 22 degrees. Um, it went up 22 degrees Fahrenheit to 96 degrees, and the colored water went up 20 degrees to 90 to um, also to 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Outside, under the tree, the clear water went up to 18 degrees, went up 18 degrees to 92 degrees and inside it stayed the same and for the colored water outside under the tree went up 14 degrees to 90 degrees and inside the colored water went down 2 degrees and I checked each experiment for 2 minutes every 2 minutes for 30 minutes the results of this experiment were I realized the colored water and the clear water stayed pretty much the same the clear water was lower than the colored water and I felt like the colored water temperature seemed to rise sooner than the clear water and I wasn't sure if maybe the sun reacted more to the coloring, the food coloring in the water or not. I wasn't really sure about that, but that's what I observed. Thank you.